Hey everybody, we're going to look at one of the coolest new key commands I just learned about last week. There's somebody posted this on the Facebook logic group and I was like, wow, I don't think I ever knew about this. And so I wanted to share that with you. This is an automation tool. This is something which is going to really change how I do automation on my track. So check this out. If you want to make one automation line and move it to another parameter, all you have to do is hold the command key when you're choosing a new parameter. So I've got this part right here. This is an Airhu Chinese instrument. It's playing this background part. I was automating some of the line here so that it would just come and go a little bit with the, the vocal part. So just kind of figuring that out and I was thinking, wow, it'd be really cool if I took all of this data I just made and maybe controlled the send for my reverb send. And so here's how you can do it. Hold the command key down, come over here to my parameters. We're going to go to my main channel. Let's come up here to the reverb that's really being used. We can do relative or absolute. And now it's going to give us this window here. Do we want to convert? That means it'll move all of that automation into that send control, or do we want to copy and convert, which will leave the original in the volume and move the new stuff into the actual send. So now you can see I copied and converted. So now the blue here is representing the send relative amount. And you can watch that right over, let's see, let's get on the right channel here. You can see it right here with the knob on bus four. So this is a really cool way to take your automation, move it to different places. Think of all the different things we could do with this. We could take the same curve we created that corresponds to something else and let's put it on channel EQ and we'll do peak three frequency, copy and convert. And now up here on this channel EQ, so we're gonna be moving this. Let's boost it up a little bit. Now, this isn't in a really useful range down here, so we could come through and actually trim the whole thing up so that it actually matches better to a range for that particular instrument. So we could do special effects type things with that, sound design with this, and all of that's gonna mimic what we had in that original curve that we're using. And so that's actually a really useful way to be able to manipulate our automation tools. Now again, we don't just have to copy and convert, we can just convert it at the same time. So that means we can take this and move it someplace else, and then that'll get rid of the volume automation itself. So what might we want to do that on here? I'm not 100% sure right off the top of my head, but let's just do this with, say, panning. We'll do relative panning, and we'll just do convert. But now, the volume is just at that original volume. So you could decide exactly how and where you want to use it, but this is such a great way to be able to use this how you want. Last thing I would say about this is that if you want to convert this onto another track, say you want to use this automation on a different track, one of the easier ways is to use our automation select tool where we just select all of our automation. We can copy that. Let's say we're gonna paste it down here on the lead vocal. Go back to the beginning. Let's paste this in. So that is important to make sure you start at the same place. It's all there. And now we can come through and say, because that's volume automation, we could put that, say, 
on the, the limiter output or some other thing here with its sends or any other effect, and we're going to be able to have a, a similar effect. So we just need to copy and paste it into the other track first, and then we can move it around how we want. This select tool is really useful. We should do a whole tutorial on it at some point because there are so many nuances to some of these tools and how you use them with automation that I think it does take a little bit of a learning curve to get to a place where you can do whatever you're thinking about. But there probably is a way to do almost anything that you want to do with it. Okay, hope you're having a great week. Today's just the beginning of it. We're going to do probably two more videos this week. And I hope you're enjoying this and I will talk to you soon.